In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your wall practice. I'm gonna show you some great drills where you can improve your accuracy on the wall. And all you need is tape. In this case, I prefer using blue tape because regular tape kind of blends in with the wall. And the first target I'm gonna make is a big rectangle. The next target is an upside down triangle and the purpose of this drill is to work on net clearance. Basically you want to aim uh, for the top part of the triangle and it's going to give you a nice height over the net. Here we have a regular triangle. This is great for low trajectory shots, such as a backhand slice. And basically you're gonna aim for the bottom piece of the triangle. Here we have two rect angles and the purpose of having two is that now we can alternate between forehands and backhands and we can also get a little bit on the run. Make sure not to put the rectangles too far apart from each other or it's going to be impossible to chase down the balls. Having them this close is already going to be hard enough.
And here we have a small rectangle that's very close to the net and this is perfect for practicing serves. You can set this up anywhere along the wall, but I prefer to work on wide serves. So now what's gonna happen if I hit a serve into the rectangle, the ball is gonna ricochet off the wall and it's gonna go right to me and I don't have to pick it up. You wanna make sure that the rectangle is as small as possible. It could be even smaller than this uh, because if we make it too high and we're uh, hitting the top part of the rectangle, it's a good chance that serve is going out. Uh, so as small as possible and very close to the net. What I recommend at the very end of your target practice is to actually remove all the targets and just hit against the wall and check how your consistency and accuracy is. There's a good chance it's going to be a lot better.